Hi everyone, in this video of mensuration, we shall take a few very important questions related to surface area and volume of a right circular cylinder. Now before starting with the questions, let us first revise the formulas. Total surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Further, we can take 2 pi r common and we are left with r plus h. Now, curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h or we can also say circumference of the base into height. Further, volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h or we can say area of the base into height. Now let us revise the formula of volume of hollow cylinder. As you can see in the given figure, we have outer radius and inner radius and height. Now thickness is always outer radius minus inner radius. Now for the volume of a hollow cylinder is always outer volume minus the inner volume. That is pi capital R square H minus pi small r square H. Further pi H we can take common. So volume is equal to pi in bracket capital R square minus small r square into H. Now let's start with question number 1. An iron pipe is 21 meters long and its exterior diameter is 8 centimeter. If the thickness of the pipe is 1 centimeter and iron weight is 8 grams per centimeter cube, find the weight of pipe. Now in this question given to us, length of the pipe is 21 meters. We can convert into centimeter by multiplying by 100. So we will write 21 into 100 is equal to 2100 centimeters. Now further outer di diameter which is denoted by capital D is equal to 8 centimeter. So outer radius which is denoted by capital R is equal to half of diameter which is equal to half of 8 which is equal to 4 centimeter. Now for the thickness of the pipe that is outer radius minus inner radius is 1 centimeter. Weight of the metal that is iron is equal to 8 grams per centimeter cube. We have to find the weight of the pipe. Now let's start with the solution. Since thickness of the pipe that is outer radius minus inner radius is equal to 1 centimeter and outer radius is equal to 4 centimeter. So we can write 4 minus small r is equal to 1 centimeter. Further small r is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 centimeter. So we can say inner radius is equal to 3 centimeter. Now volume of iron used in pipe is equal to volume of hollow cylinder which is equal to pi in bracket capital R square minus small r square into h. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write 22 by 7 in bracket 4 square minus 3 square into 2100. Further, we will solve and write 22 by 7 in bracket 16 minus 9 into 2100. Further, we will write 22 into 7 into 2100 upon 7 which is equal to 46,200 centimeter cube. So we can say the total volume of iron used in this pipe is 46,200 centimeter cube. Now the total weight of iron used in pipe is equal to weight of 1 cubic centimeter of iron into vo volume of iron used. Therefore we will write 8 into 46,200 which is equal to 329,600 grams. So basically we have multiplied the weight of 1 cubic centimeter of iron into the total volume of iron which is used to get the total weight of iron which is used to make this pipe. So now we got 329,600 grams as the total weight which we need to convert into kilograms. So we will divide by 1000 and we will get 369.60 kgs. Therefore the total weight of the pipe is equal to 369.60 kgs. Now let's take up second question. A well is dug 20 meters deep and it has a diameter 7 meters. The earth which is so dug out is spread evenly on a rectangular plot 22 meters long and 14 meters broad. What is the height of the platform formed? Now given in this question dimensions of well 
depth of well that is height is 20 meters diameter is equal to 7 meters radius is half of diameter so we can say 7 by 2 meters is the radius now dimensions of rectangular plot length that is l is equal to 22 meters breadth that is b is equal to 14 meters and we have to find the height of the platform so formed now let's start with the solution volume of earth dug out is given by pi r square h further we will write 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 square into 20 further we will write 22 by 7 into 49 by 4 into 20 which is equal to 770 meter cube so the volume of earth which is dug out of this well is 770 meter cube now we shall find the volume of rectangular plot which is in the shape of cuboid as length into breadth into height we shall substitute the values 22 into 14 into h which is equal to 308 h meter cube since the height is not given so we have just written it 308 h meter cube now volume of rectangular plot is equal to volume of earth dug out so we can write 308 into height is equal to 770 further height is equal to 770 upon 308 which is equal to 2.5 meters so the height of this platform is 2.5 meters now let's move to question number three the volume of a right circular cylinder is 448 pi cubic centimeter and height is 7 centimeter find the lateral surface area and total surface area now given in this question volume of cylinder is 448 pi centimeter cube height is equal to 7 centimeter and we have to find the lateral surface area and total surface area now let's start with the solution volume of cylinder is equal to 448 pi further we can write pi r square h is equal to 448 pi further pi into r square into 7 is equal to 448 pi now pi and pi will get cancelled and we will write r square is equal to 448 upon 7 which is equal to 64 now r square is equal to 64 so r is root of 64 that is 8 so we can say the radius of this cylinder is 8 centimeter now curved surface area of the cylinder is given by formula 2 pi r h further we shall substitute the values now 2 into 22 by 7 into 8 into 7 is equal to 352 centimeter square so curved surface area is 352 centimeter square now for the total surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h now further we can take 2 pi r common and in bracket we can write r plus h now we shall substitute the values we will write 2 into 22 by 7 into 8 in bracket 8 plus 7 further we will write 2 into 22 by 7 into 8 into 15 which will come 754.285 centimeters square so this is the total surface area 754.285 centimeters square so this is how we have solved three very important questions related to surface area and volume of cylinder hope you have understood thank you everyone